emoji. Hey, thanks for coming back. Hey, so today uh, I was looking at my uh, videos, and there was a video I want to revisit. Right? It's an Asian-inspired rotisserie chicken. Now, yes, it's on my channel, a version of it. Yes, but the quality was not of the parties when I was first starting to put videos up, and uh, the volume is just too low, so I basically redid it, okay, from scratch. And this is what we got. Look at this. Oh, I know you saw the thumbnail. Glorious. Hope you enjoy this. Watch how I do it. Hey, this is Charles Sharon. That is the best elevator music I ever heard. Okay, a lot of ingredients, but it's really simple. We have a half a cup of soy sauce right here. We have two bay leaves, right? Half a cup of brown sugar, half a cup of white sugar. We have about two teaspoons of Szechuan peppercorns. Now you could use regular black uh, peppercorns if you want, and that'll work. Or green. I mean, green will work as well. We have one one cup of coarse kosher salt. We have two sarnies because I like that licorice flavor that it has. We have two tablespoons of minced ginger and a quarter cup of Chinese five spice. Now we're going to put this into some simmering water uh, for the brine. Let's get to that right now. We have the brown sugar. Add the white sugar. The kosher salt. Soy sauce. Now we're just going to mix this up just to start it, the dissolving process. Peppercorns go in. Tiny slice spice goes in. Now we're going to add the ginger in. Okay. This all whisked in. Get the Chinese five spice all mixed into the liquid. Now we gotta get all the air bubbles out because you can see the Chinese five spice it's so uh, thin and fine that it the, with the steam coming up, it'll float on it, so you have to pop these bubbles. That's why I'm doing it the way I'm doing it here. So it can all incorporate properly. See that? See the difference now? And the whole time, the sugars and the salts are still dissolving. Now, we're going to add our star anise. Two pieces of star anise. And our two bay leaves. Now, once this comes to a boil, we're going to turn it down to the simmer. And we're actually going to let it simmer for about 15 minutes. And then we're going to chill it. Okay, so we're going to let this simmer, like I just said. We'll let it simmer for like 15 minutes. Then we're going to turn it off, and we're going to let it cool and steep for about a half hour, and then we're going to add some ice and to get it ready for the chicken. See you then. All right, so now the brine has cooled. 
I might just wash the chicken. What I did is I washed the chicken on the cold water and the lemon juice. Okay, just to make sure it got um, properly clean. Right now, what we're going to do? I'm going to take uh, a meat tenderizer. It's my meat tenderizer here, and I'm just going to go through the whole chicken, all on the outside of the chicken, uh, to give the brine easier access to the meat. Now you don't have to do that, but as you can see, when this thing gets going. It's gonna make a lot of holes real fast. A lot of little pinholes. That's what we want. So let's get to that now. And then we're going to put it in a Ziploc bag, a two and a half gallon Ziploc bag with some ice. And then we're gonna add our brine and then uh, some water if we need it to make sure it's all covered. Then it's gonna go in the refrigerator. Let's get to that. All right. We have our chicken here. I'm just going to go through it. Make sure we get the size drumstick. In the back, you don't have to worry about too much, but might as well hit it. This thigh. Drumstick back around to the breast. You don't have to worry about the wings too much. So we have ice in here. We'll take our chicken. Into the bag. Right on top of the ice. Okay. Now we're going to take our chilled brine, pour it right on top of the chicken. Whip it up. Air out. And this goes in the refrigerator. Now, this is going to go in the refrigerator. You want a minimum of eight hours, but I'm going to be doing this for probably 24 hours to 30 hours. Now, you can go up to two days if you have to, but I'm going to be doing this tomorrow night. So, I want to make sure I got this in here. Well, tomorrow afternoon, really. So, I want to make sure I got this going. So it'll be ready and all full of flavor. So I haven't said that. I will see you tomorrow so we can finish this. All right. All right. So here we are the next day, 24 hours later. It smells delicious in here. Uh, the refrigerator just smells glorious with the way it's marinated. So what we're going to do first, we're going to make a basting solution for the chicken. Okay. So after about 30 minutes of being in the oven, we're going to baste it, and we're going to baste it uh, every 30 minutes, two more times after that. So it's going to be cooking for roughly about an hour and a half, maybe a little more, but we'll check it, okay? So first thing, like I said, we're going to do, we're going to make the sauce, and then we're going to get the chicken ready for the rotisserie. So let's get to it. All right, so what we have here, have about a teaspoon of sesame oil, have about a tablespoon of Chinese five spice, two tablespoons of oyster sauce, about two tablespoons of hoisin sauce. Here we have just over a tablespoon of brown sugar, and here we have a quarter of a cup of soy sauce. We're going to combine these together, and then we'll get to the chicken. Okay, soy sauce goes in. Sesame oil. Brown sugar. Chinese five spice in. Poison sauce.
oyster sauce goes in. We're gonna mix it up. And you wanna mix it, you know, until the sugar dissolves. There we go. All right, now we're gonna truss our chicken. There's no right or wrong way to truss your chicken, okay? You're just trying to tie it up so that it doesn't flop all around while it's in the rotisserie. I use a butcher's knot so it doesn't slip. And this goes back in. I'm gonna turn it over. Cinch this side down. Go by, grab the wings. Give it a little look, see. Okay. I think this will work, but we'll see. Now we want to put the rod in. careful when you're doing this you don't want to hurt yourself well let me get the main machine and I want to put chicken into rotisserie there we go Give it a test spin. All right, so far so good.
All right, now we're going to put this into a preheated 375 degree oven. Okay, it's going to be cooking for about an hour and a half, maybe a little closer to an hour and 45 minutes because this is almost a six pound chicken. Okay, uh, but it could be a little faster because I brined it. Now, when you brine the chickens uh, or when you brine food in general, it speeds up the cooking process because of the way it steams in the inside. So we'll watch it. And you don't want to stop cooking it until this gets at least, okay, 175 degrees, okay? A lot of people say, you know, it's, it's 165, that's not good enough for chicken, okay? It's not, it's really not. The thigh and the leg needs to be at least 170, closer to 178, really, technically. But you do 175, you put the tin on it, with aluminum foil over it, let it rest for about 10 minutes after that, 10, 15 minutes, it will get to the appropriate temperature, okay? But it needs to be at over 170 before you even think about anything as far as breast meat anyway and the wings. But anyway, I probably confused the hell out of you, but this is going to go into the oven. Um, we're going to start it up, and we'll see what happens. And then after 30 minutes, we're going to baste it. We're going to start basting it. All right, look out, Tweety. There we go. Spin it away. So I'll see you back in uh, probably about 30 minutes for our first basing. You won't see all the basing, but you'll see at least the first one. Okay, so we took the chicken out. It's going to rest. I want it to rest for 15 minutes uh, before we plate up. When we get back, you'll see what we have. Okay, just real quick. I know you're watching the video right now, but just real quick. Look, uh, you asked for it. The hot sauces are available, right, uh, at strawsharad.com. It's sweet. It's thick. Oh, tropical habanero. I know you're going to love it. So check it out. Let me let you get back to your video. Enjoy your day. Alright, so here we have it, our Asian inspired rotisserie chicken, uh, you know I wanted to go back to this and revisit it, but here it is, if you like this, you can give it a thumbs up, if you're not subscribed to uh, our channel, hey subscribe, join the peanut gallery, our arms are open because we have room, also, if we're not connected on Instagram, go to Instagram, put my name in, name in Shaw Shaw, look for the great cat, and let's connect, that being said, Straw, straw, I'm out because I have some people to feed. Thanks for watching.